we want to open the show by discussing some college football. Bud Elliott released, and he does this every year, uh, and now he's over at 247 Sports, but he does the blue chip ratio. Uh, Chris, have you seen this before? I, I know that we've talked about this. No, before. we talk about it every year, but I, I, these are not things that I look at ever. But yeah, totally understandable. Totally understandable. Um, it, no team has won a national championship with having less four and five stars. Those are the blue chips than two and three stars in, in the modern era of college football. It has not happened. Um, so what they do basically is they go through and look at all of the different teams that uh, that have this, and and they decide from there, right? You know, who, who has a chance to win a national championship? Who is it most likely will win a national championship this season? Um, so we'll go on and run through them right quick, and I'll, I'll just spout through the numbers super fast uh, and give you the percentage of blue chip players that they have on their team. Uh, Alabama, 83% blue chippers. Georgia, 82%. Ohio State, 80%. Texas is at 64%. They are fourth highest in the country. LSU, 63%. Oklahoma, 63%. Clemson, 63%. Florida, 63%. Michigan, 59%. Auburn, 59%. Penn State, 59%. Notre Dame, 56%. Washington, 54%. And USC and Texas A&M come in at 14 and 15 with 50% of their roster being, uh, being blue chippers. Uh, you don't see a Minnesota on there. You don't see Wisconsin. You know, at some of those teams, you're just not going to find them. Um, Chris, you know, l- listening to this list, uh, did anybody surprise you? Uh, no, and this shows, this is something that I like. I, here's what I like about this. This makes my point when people always say, oh, look how great Michigan is. And look how huge of a disappointment it is when they get smoked by Ohio State. Ohio State is what, 83? 80%. 80%. And Michigan is 59%. is 59%. There's 24% separation there. That's a quarter of your team is not close in talent. Yeah. Not close. Yeah. So when whenever Ohio State guys like to beat their chest because they beat the hell out of Michigan, congratulations. Congratulations, guys! You, you you beat up on a on a weaker, lesser, smarter kid. Yeah, uh, and it, and it's also why everybody, uh, you know, talks crap about Texas. Like at Texas, sixty four percent of their no, roster is blue chippers. Now Texas, I, I was shocked that Texas was was that high, strictly based on because I gotta assume so much of that was there last year as well. And they were pretty disappointing last year. Yeah, they certainly were. Now they lost. I mean, not a lot just losing games. to LSU. LSU turned out to be a special team that was a little different than anything else last yeah. year. And, and I mean, they were to, in tight games yeah. with mediocre teams, and they exactly. lost some of those games. Yeah, they certainly did. Uh, Oklahoma, that's another reasonable loss. Um, but aside from that, I mean, they were know. they were a testicle hair away from losing to Kansas. Yeah, they, I they mean, the wind were. blows just a hair in a different direction, and they lose that game. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I think this year's a make or break Baylor year for Baylor kicked their Herman. butt. But Iowa this, State gave them all they wanted. Like, oh, they, yes. they, they, they struggled in a lot of games last year with guys they were far superior in talent then. Oh, Baylor kind of dominated them. No, no, I mean, no, no. When I say Baylor kicked their butt, Baylor kicked their butt. Yeah. It, it, was, it was not even close. Uh, jumping in the chat here. On Twitch, Jack Lantern, new uh, new user, new viewer, uh, he jumps in, says hello. Michael said, what's up? "What's up, fellas? Gary watching some golf. Yeah, I got the Charles Schwab thing on. Um, I think that they they may be ending uh, here very soon, from what I understand, but we'll we'll see. But we're gonna have TJ on to talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh, yeah, Clemson being down at sixty three percent kind of surprised me. Um, uh, yeah, I thought they were 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 a little higher than that, or would be a little higher than that. But it doesn't. I mean, super shock me. No, no, no. They they, they get look their five so stars. much more dominant than they yeah. are because of the conference that they play in. Oh yes, but they they also they get their five stars, and then they are just as happy with three stars that they can develop, as opposed to going to get a okay. bunch of four stars. So you know, I think a lot of those three stars look like three stars when they play other four stars and five stars, and yeah. and when they play. Louisville, they look like five stars. Yeah. No, so it's easy uh, to right. say we developed this kid. Yeah, you developed him to beat up on Boston College. Good job. 
All right. Uh, you're uh, you're right. You're right. You got a valid point. Uh, the Brown Yeti said, Iowa State is a good team, uh, and I've been building that bandwagon for years now. 100%. They've got a fantastic No, no, we, coach. Are, we are Iowa State yeah. guys. No, no, we, we like that program. We like what they're doing. We love that coach. But the, I, I would bet, where is Iowa State on this list? Are they oh. even on the list where you can no. say what no, they are not compared to what Texas is? Not even close. So, I mean, it's not, you know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not marginally close. They, yeah. they should not be handling Texas or in games with Texas based on a talent level. It tells you that they're coached up more and they want it more than than the guys at, at Texas do. So the two schools that that shocked me were were Michigan being as low as they are based on the way everyone always talks about them, and Texas being as high as they were based on how they finished last year. Uh, Florida being up there at the same as Clemson and Oklahoma and LSU, it kind of surprised me with as bad as everybody's talked about Dan Mullen's recruiting and whatnot. Um, but I mean, they, you know, it's still Florida. Like you, you can it's, sneeze. It's still Florida and chipper. Dan's only been there two years. Yes. Yes. And he's, so, so I'm going to bet all those seniors and juniors that are, that are big student, those, they got the big stars next to them. Dan didn't recruit those kids. Dan didn't go get them. You might be right. And if he did, how did they grade Juco guys? Cause Dan is really good at going and getting Juco kids. He well, wasn't and, state and, and transfers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Transfer. That's I guess that's what I mean when I'm saying JUCO kids. At state, it was a lot of JUCO transfers, but at Florida, you're going to get transfers from everywhere, not just JUCO. You got that right. Uh, USC being as high as they are, fifty uh, percent. Washington, fifty-four uh, percent. Notre Dame, Penn State, you know, fifty-nine percent for Penn State, and then Ohio State is at eighty yeah. uh, percent. I mean, it's just difficult. It's just difficult. Yeah. Uh, Michael jumps in. He said Texas, and then uh, gives us the thumb down here. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I, I would like for Texas to be good again, just because it's good for college football. I think it is. And so, but that, maybe that's just me. It is what it is. Uh, it, it's a little surprising in the modern era. Again, no college football team has won a national championship with less than fifty percent blue chippers. So I would not expect that you will see one this season. Uh, the national champ is going to come from this list, and obviously without the percentages and whatnot, you probably could have figured that out yourself. But now you do at least have uh, those names and the numbers associated with them. Uh, let's go ahead and call in TJ here, and we'll see if we can uh, if we can get him in. Da -da -da. We'll jump over on the guest. Swap. 